Do you feel like you learned what you came here to oh, learn? Definitely, most definitely. And if you have a colleague that is interested in um, a vestibular course of some kind, would you recommend yes, this course? Most definitely, because it was—I mean, the speaker, speakers were top-notch, and just everything was really good. So great, that's yeah. a good you. Thank you so much oh, for coming. Thank you. valuable that you'll take back to your practice or you. Um, definitely the bedside testing. Um, I have yet to do any bedside testing, so I'm going to definitely incorporate the duca and the head shake um, into my normal battery of testing. And um, if one of your colleagues was considering going to a vestibular course of some kind, would you recommend this course? Yes, definitely. And what about it would you recommend? Um, everything I I think the hands-on complemented the lecture and the classroom um, very well. And some some seminars you go to you don't get enough hands-on or you get too much classroom, but I think it was um, very well equally balanced. Thank you so much for taking time. Did you enjoy the course? I did, thank you. Good. Was What was the biggest thing that you learned that you think you'll take back and incorporate into your clinical practice? Uh, definitely the VEMPS. Um, all the information about the anatomy and physiology of the VEMPS and the, the protocols and when to use cervical and ocular motor. Um, def definitely the VEMPS. Great. If you have a colleague that's interested in going to a vestibular course, would this be one that you would recommend? Yes, yes. Yes, I thank both Dr. Jacobson and Dr. McCaslin. They're very, um, kind of bring it down to a, like an everyday clinic level, not knowing most of us aren't like in a research lab and have access to everything. So yeah, I definitely would. Great.